What's going on you guys, Nickel Jess here. So BD3D Customs sent me this really cool metallic build plate. It's a flex build plate. So basically what I can do is I can place this on my CR10 and print directly on this surface. Actually, correction, they sent me a PEI sheet to go on top of this plate. And what will happen is I can print directly on this and then flex my prints off of each of the uh, print bed here. So this is really cool. I've never worked with one of these before. Really excited to get this installed and it looks pretty simple. So I wanted to share it with you guys and check it out. And I've already smudged up the metal plate here with my greasy fingerprints. So this is already gonna drive me crazy with that right there. So the installation of this should be pretty simple. So I have the build plate here that they've sent over and this is a PEI sheet that I can peel off the side here and attach to the build plate. So what I'm gonna do is very carefully try to go from edge to edge here and attach this without getting my dirty fingers all over everything. So I believe I have this fairly nicely lined up. I probably should have used a card here, folks. Use something to go. <laughs> Let me go grab my wallet. <laughs> I've already screwed this up. <laughs> I'm going to end up with air bubbles now in some of the corners. So what happens when you, you rush things, people? An LED remote works just as well. All right, so here's in the corner where I did not go very well to start, and I've got a little bit of bubbles. Not the end of the world for me here. I don't really print from edge to edge very often. I typically right in the center or up on one of the uh, the front edges here. Looking good, looking good. All right, so the installation is pretty simple here. I've got my CR10. This is the mirror. I've got a mirror that I've just laid down here. This is the back side of the mirror. I'm gonna lay it down on top of that and just clamp everything down. And then I'm going to re-level the print bed. And that should be pretty much it and it's good to go. All right, my print finished, about a 12 hour print here. Let's get the bed off and pop the print off, see how it goes. All right, so before I pop this off the build plate, just wanna give you a breakdown on the file that I printed here. If you're not familiar, this is Scorpion's Mask from Mortal Kombat 11. This file was provided to me by Villainous Props. I'm super excited about this game and really excited about some awesome looking props coming out of this game. This is printed at 0.3 millimeter layer height and yeah, it was more or less just gonna be a quick test print here. And it was printed in Ziltec Gold PLA. So without further ado, let's try and pop this off here. It's pretty cool. That's very cool. So this is the first time I've used a flex plate system here and it is really wild. This is again from BD3D Customs and they have a bunch of different build plate volume sizes there. This option right here is the 300 by 300 millimeter. It's perfect for the CR10 or similar printers that the same build volume and this will set you back about 40 bucks there. Uh, they also sell different files that you can buy off of them if you're into cosplay stuff and they have 3D printers as well. Again, just wanted to share this with everybody. This is the first time that I've used a flex plate system here. Uh, it's not magnetic, by the way. Uh, I, I'm hoping at some point they might offer some sort of a magnetic base that this can snap onto so I don't have to use binder clips. But for right now, I just slapped this on top uh, or the PEI sheet on top of the metallic base, then put this on top of the mirror that I use on my CR10 and printed everything like I normally do. And it worked absolutely great right off the first go. So very, very cool, very excited about this. And we'll definitely be using this more here. So stay tuned because you'll be seeing this a lot more in my videos. But uh, yeah, I just wanna say thanks again for watching you guys. If you're interested in this, uh, check out the links down below. Uh, I'll have some social media links for these guys as well. And I just wanna say thanks again for watching and I will see y'all next time. By the way, this fit like a glove, the default size. I'm super excited about this.
get over here!